Hello, my loves. Welcome to a new pick a card reading. Today, we're going to be getting you clarity on how your person is truly feeling about you if you are separated or if you have been going through some challenges and struggles in this connection and you may have little to no contact. This is also for any of you who feel like you are in a connection that is very hot and cold. The person comes into your life, then they leave your life, then they come into your life, right? They go back and forth and it may be a very confusing and painful time for you and you just need to know what's going on. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. So if you're new to this channel, I am Dr. V. Welcome to everyone. Welcome to all of the new subscribers as well as to all of you who have been with this beautiful family for a long time. You know, I really appreciate all of you so much. And if you haven't joined our community, make sure you do hit that subscribe. Turn on notifications so that you don't miss any future readings because this really is the home of all twin flames, soulmates, and all who are on a journey of love. So today I have three options for you. And before I get into them, I do want to remind you that this is a general reading. So not everything may resonate for you and your situation. Take what does and leave the rest. But if you're at that place, again, where you are feeling very confused, very emotionally exhausted, some of you are also in a place where you know that there is a big decision to be made, but you don't know what to do. You don't know what to choose and you need guidance and clarity from spirit as to what is going on in the situation so that you can make a good choice for yourself. So if you're at that place, I highly recommend that you have a live reading with me. It's called the live reading experience. I'm one of the few people to offer this because I love connecting with you on video call in person. It's very healing. It's very transformative and spirit will answer all of your questions questions right there in real time. So you can do that. You can also do a video recorded reading with me and the link is on your screen right now. So without further ado, if you'd like to take a deep breath, meditate, see which of these you feel most guided to, you can pick from pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, or you can choose them all and take the mes messages that resonate. So for group number one, we have the thorn, protection, boundaries, clear communication. For group number two, we have the great mother, surrender to the mystery, fall into her arms. And for group number three, we have the Holy Grail. Stop the endless searching inner quest. So go ahead and make your selection and we'll get started with group number one. All right, my beautiful group number one that chose the thorn. Let's see if you are in little to no contact, how do they truly feel? And stay with me until the end of the reading because we will be getting specific advice from Spirit. A specific message to you on what you should be doing, thinking, you know, what's coming up for you next. So let's go ahead and get started here with how do they truly feel if you guys have been separated? struggling or with little to no contact how are they truly feeling about you at this time so we have the king of diamonds or king of pentacles we have the seven of crystals or seven of wands We have the Empress. And we have the Page of Diamonds or Page of Pentacles. All right, so I do feel for some of you, this person may be currently married or with somebody else. Okay, that's not for everybody. 
but I feel like for some of you, this person is somebody else's spouse or life partner at this time. And this is why they are in a state of confusion with the seven of wands here. It's like there's a part of them that feels like they need to honor the commitment that they have made. Okay, so this person may have children, may have a family, may have something already like a whole life going on with somebody else. And they may be right now feeling like they're leading a double life. Okay, so I feel like if you are watching this for a masculine who is married or is in a committed relationship, and you might be as well, this might be something that both of you are in that position because with this Empress energy, I'm also getting the energy of, you know, a divine feminine who is a mother and may have a family as well. Okay, and there's kids coming through right here as well. So both of you, I'm feeling, may be in a situation where you are married with children or in a committed relationship with children. And you are having a hard time because the person that you may be with, you have never truly been in love with them. Okay, you, you love them, but you've never been in love with them. And you have met somebody else who has opened up that part of you. Okay, so this may be the reason why this person is in and out of your life or you are in and out of theirs or both, right? So I feel like with the seven of crystals here, they feel very, very stuck, okay? And you might as well. Now, for those of you who this isn't a third party situation, you're not with other people, I feel like there is a stuck energy around what to do in terms of like why they didn't move forward. They may not have been ready to become your um, life partner because again, with that King of Diamonds and the Empress, I just feel like there was some sort of energy here around um, the expectation or the desire to be life partners and this person may not be ready for that okay they might be a little bit on the immature side okay so like i said if this is not a third party situation i feel like this person may be in and out of your life or they may be blowing hot and cold with you because there's a part of them that says yes i'm ready for a committed relationship and then there's another part of them that says i can't i can't um commit Okay, because I have issues, I have baggage, there's a lot of resistance. Okay, so either way, whether this is third party or not, the seven of crystals tells me that your person has been dealing with a lot of internal resistance, a lot of energy of I am not ready, I don't know if I am ready for this. I have certain issues. I have certain things that I need to deal with emotionally. For some of you, I feel like this person, the reason why they're very resistant also comes from something from their past experiences, whether it is their childhood. There's a part of them that hasn't fully grown up. Again, this page of diamonds tells me that there's some part of them that is still holding on to their inner child wounds. There's definitely an energy of some sort of abandonment. I feel like this person may have come from a background where they felt either neglected or abandoned by their caregivers. Um, they feel like um, they weren't given the attention, they weren't given... Uh, the kind of love nurturing or unconditional love that they needed and so there's a part of them that is very deeply resistant or distrusting of love like it's almost like there's a part of them that doesn't believe that unconditional love exists okay they feel like everything is conditional that everybody wants something from them that there's just no such thing as you know having this beautiful pure open and unconditional relationship with somebody that eventually they will have to pay the price okay so there's a inner child wound that is telling them that that nothing is for free eventually this will hurt eventually this will be painful and so i don't know if i should give in to that i don't know if i should commit to that so i feel like there's two energies there for those of you who are in third party and those of you who are just in struggle but either way the outcome i feel is very similar okay this person is dealing with a lot of resistance they're dealing with a lot of confusion they don't know if they should you know hold on to what they have and even if they're single, 
even if they're not involved with somebody else, they may even be like, maybe it's better to hold on to being single. Maybe it's better for me to hold on to where I am in my life right now, because even if I don't have love, at least I don't have pain. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like this person is right now struggling in their feelings for you. It's like they feel for you. They love you. There's something here with that Empress energy. It's like, you know, they in their in their fantasies, in their dreams, in their desires, they would want to create something with you. They feel a very strong pull towards you. They feel a very strong urge to contact you, to be with you, to be in your presence. The attraction, the pull to you is magnetic. The pull to you is almost irresistible. Okay, so this is why they may be coming in and out because they're constantly pulled towards you. And their feelings for you are very strong. But the fact that it came next to the seven of crystals is definitely a resistant energy. Like I am so attracted. I am so into you, but I, I need to resist. Whether that is because of their fears from their childhood wounds or past relationships, or whether it's their fear of, should I leave the person that I am with? Or do I need to kind of stand my ground and I need to honor the commitment that I have? Because see, I'm also feeling for some of you that the person that they're with, if you are in a third party, the person that they're with is not necessarily a bad person. This person, they may feel like they don't want to hurt this person. Okay, because that per that that spouse or that other partner they have is not a bad person, but they don't. But they're just they're just not in love. It's almost like they're either roommates or they're friends or they're just like you know partners. Kind of like I hate to say it, but kind of like Instagram partners, Instagram marriage. I don't know why Spirit is giving me that that uh, that line because. I don't, I've never used that phrase before. I didn't even know that that exists. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I may be kind of out of the loop here. I didn't know that this idea of Instagram marriage exists. So I feel like that's what spirit is just giving me. Like, the, you know, they might be with this person more for the image, more for the money that they have together. They don't want to lose their finances. There's something there where it's like the other person they're with is not necessarily, they could be toxic, but they don't have to be. They could just be somebody that they care for, that they consider a friend, but they don't have any love or passion with. And this is why it is very hard for them to leave that person because there's a sense of guilt. Okay, They're feeling a sense of guilt because maybe that person hasn't really done anything bad to them. It, but yet you are the person that they feel that deep, deep love and attraction with. So let's see what else. Yeah, see, so this is why there's this issue about safety around love. Yeah, door to romance. See, so I feel like this person, you know, they are right now, if you are in separation, they're trying to stay focused on, you know, they, they may be trying, for some of you, I feel like they may be trying to forget you. Okay, it's not easy. It's very hard. It's very painful. For some of you, I and this is not for everybody, but for some of you, this person right now, if they are fully separated from you and they are like not in contact with you at all, they might be trying to hold the course. They might be trying to stay focused on their current life, okay? Whatever they are doing, whether they're married to somebody else, they might be just trying to focus on their day-to-day -day life, their work, their kids. They're trying to not think of you because it's too painful. OK, for others of you, this person who, you know, maybe you guys are free or not married to other people or you're not in other relationships, they may be trying to stay focused on their single life because that is what feels safe to them. OK, so this person, if you are involved with somebody who is who is single, I feel like their issue is there's something about love, intimacy, vulnerability opening up to you or opening up to anybody or opening up to this empress energy because this is very powerful energy something in that is not feeling safe to them and that has nothing to do with you group one this is their own pain their own um issues they really need healing they may even need therapy so that they can feel that it is safe to be in a real relationship and that's not your responsibility they have to heal that for themselves, right? So I feel like this person definitely feels that there is a door to romance here, that there is a door that they may be opening or closing, right? And I feel like they're in this, during this time of little to no contact, they are thinking about 
whether they should open this door fully and walk through it and be with you fully or whether they need to shut the door completely because it's too painful being in like in limbo okay for so many of you there's a limbo energy like look their heart is caught in this cage okay they might feel and you might even feel that your heart is truly in this cage like you are stuck where you are and you know that there is a door you don't know which door to go through or you don't know which whether the door should be open or closed so again, I feel for those of you who are in third party situations, this is that limbo energy. You just don't know which choice to make. You don't know whether the door should be fully open or it should be fully closed. But if the door is only slightly open and you feel like you're in both worlds, that's a very painful state to be in. And I feel like that is a pain that one or both of you are definitely experiencing right now. So let's put their feelings into actual words. Let's see what they would say to you. And if you could just hit like on this video, I would really appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't already. You have no idea how much it helps me, my kids, and the channel. So my two boys and I, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your support. I'm confused about our relationship. I lie awake at night stressing about us and if it will work out. Okay, so these are very specific. Take them as they resonate for you. Life feels empty without you by my side. You were my everything and I pushed you away. Yeah, so definitely, right? I mean, these are energies of definite, you know, people having a hard time deciding and maybe pushing you away. Again, coming under that seven of wands, very resistant energy. You know, wanting you badly and yet pushing you away because maybe they are not free. To be with you fully it's always been you I don't know how to tell you the truth I want a new beginning okay so for some of you this person may be coming back around and saying you know what I'm ready to move forward because life without you just is not something that I want to experience my spirit is always with you can you feel me do you still love me too Okay, so even in separation, I feel like this person, their spirit is definitely with you. Um, they're definitely feeling your presence. You might be feeling theirs. So you guys might be visiting each other in dreams. You might be feeling a synchronicity. You might be feeling, you know, might be seeing like songs, your initials. Um, you, you just might be seeing signs of each other everywhere even though you are separated so let's look at the immediate future and what may happen next and stay with me to the end because we are going to pull advice from spirit for you so there is definitely some sort of a resurgence here it seems like this connection may be coming back around for many of you there is a blooming energy okay there's an energy of something shifting something changing here um, where this person may either release their resistance or they're coming to a point where maybe they can make a decision or maybe the both of you are coming to a point where you can make a decision interesting we're also getting timing markers here so we have spring and winter so if you'd like to take this as a timing um, guidance this you may see a change or some sort of shift in this relationship in the spring or in the winter okay so you guys might be going through a particular cycle right now that may be coming to an end I also feel that for many of you, there's a winter's energy here as well, where you guys feel like you're out in the cold. This person feels like right now they don't have your love, your attention, your affection. They're feeling frozen. They're feeling coldness. They're feeling, you know, a lot of pain around missing the love, the warmth. You know, when they were with you, they felt like anything is possible. There's warmth, there's sun, right? There's love. But here it's like it's a vacuum, right? It's like the absence of that love, the absence of that warmth and nurturing energy. So they also are coming to a decision around, okay, if they need to leave the situation they're in, okay? I feel like this is a special message for those of you who are in third parties. They're coming to a decision around the money aspect, okay? Because there's going to be, you know, if they move forward, 
uh, wanting to create a life with you and leaving where they are right now, it may have an impact on money, assets, their house, where they live, that kind of stuff. So I feel like they're also very much taking that into account. They're trying to figure out, okay, if I make a decision, how is that going to be impacted? And so a lot of this also rests on their own self-worth. So I feel for those of you who this person is single, not involved with somebody else, they are definitely working on their self-worth, on their feelings of feeling safe, right? With this, it is safe to love has a lot to do with how they see themselves. Do they feel that they are worthy of love? And I feel like that's what they may be working on during this separation as well is to decide, well, am I, am I better off alone? Is it safer for me to just always be alone or can I work on my own sense of self-worth and self-love that, you know, love is possible for me. It's not going to end in pain. I can have love in my life. I can trust you. There is a trust issue here, not because they don't trust you, but they don't trust love. And I feel like that's something that they are working on, working through at this time. So what is spirit's final advice? For you, group one, what does spirit want you to know? Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being and integration. Okay, this is what spirit wants you to focus on your own awakening. Can you upgrade your energy? Can you work on feeling lighter, better, a new way of being? Can you integrate with spirit, knowing that spirit is with you and that no matter what happens in this connection, you are going to be elevated. You, you are just going to get better and better as you move forward. Okay, beautiful. I love that for you. So this is what I have for you. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can have a live reading or a video recorded one. You can also learn about everything that I offer to help you on this journey at livetarot.com where you can look at my reading menu. You can order any of the Oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading. And you can even order the beautiful blessed twin flame necklace, which is a wonderful manifesting piece to bring about new love, union, or reunion with that special person. So make sure you go to livetarot.com. Check out all of the magic there. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one. All right, my beautiful group number two that chose the great mother. Let's see, with little to no contact, how do they truly feel? And stay with me until the end because we will be getting specific advice from spirit for you. For group number two, Spirit. How do they feel during this little to no contact? We have the Six of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Three of Diamonds or Pentacles. So, <laughs> Definitely getting soulmate energy here. Six of Cups. Okay, so this person is really missing you. You are very much on their mind. And they are regretting the fact that they have deceived you in some way. Seven of Swords. Um, and the deception doesn't necessarily have to be like cheating. Okay, it could be anything where secrets were being kept from you. Um, things that they, you know, needed to tell you were not being told. You know, sometimes we hold things back that are important to the relationship, like in order for a relationship to be healthy, uh, for communication to be good, in order for things to move forward, we need to have a deep level of being transparent, right? We need to be authentic. We need to be honest. We need to really be vulnerable and open ourselves up. And this person may just have been too much in their head and not able to do that. And so I feel like for some of you, 
you know, this person just wasn't emotionally, maybe emotionally ready. Like there's this three of pentacles here. It's almost like they're good at having a particular reputation. This person is good at doing their work. They're good at their, um, you know, anything that has to do with their intelligence, right? Their mind, working with the mind, working with other people. They're very much a team player. They're very good with things that are outside of themselves, okay? When it comes to their own emotions, they struggle. So this person, like you might notice that they are, um, you know, out in the world, they're respected, you know, people look up to them, people see them as somebody who is very capable, who gets things done, um, they do what needs to be done. Um, but when it comes to, and they can seem very solid, three of diamonds, like they can seem like a very solid person who has a good reputation. But when it comes to really communicating their emotions, communicating their true thoughts, they can be a little bit hidden. And that is why I feel like it comes across as this seven of swords energy. So for some of you, this person hides their thoughts, hides their emotions, or is not able to fully communicate them. They're not good at putting them into words. Um, for others of you, I feel like the seven of swords is actual um, some sort of deceit when it comes to cheating. So you may feel like this person may have cheated on you. You might not be sure. Okay, like you might suspect it, but you're not fully sure. Um, or you feel that maybe they had some sort of an emotional kind of cheating where it's like they're not like physically with somebody else, but there may be someone else that they're talking to. There may be somebody else in their life that may seem like a good friend, but maybe more than a friend or they have, you know, it's a friend that they have more feelings for. There's something here. So I feel like this person could have been very inconsistent in the way that they would interact with you. And right now, if they are out of touch with you, I feel like there is a lot of regret. There's a lot of nostalgia. They're going over and over in their mind, like how you made them feel and how there are some really beautiful moments, beautiful memories that you guys created together. I feel like you were very solid with this person. You may have given them a lot of love, a lot of attention. Um, you may have, like, I feel group two, many of you are are like kind of like caretaker energy, like, you know, like you are givers. Uh, you like to take care of people. The way you show love is by taking care of people. And you may have taken very good care of this person. And you may feel like they didn't, while they appreciated that you took care of them, that you gave them a lot, they maybe did not fully value you enough to actually reciprocate or give back to this relationship the way they should have. And so right now, if they are, you know, in and out of your life, or if there's a no contact situation, they're definitely missing you, you know, going back over those memories, feeling a lot of emotions and maybe regretting that they weren't able to fully communicate those emotions, regretting that maybe they were a bit on the colder side or on the distant side with you. And it's almost like you stayed with them or you gave them a chance because even though you saw that they were distant, even though you saw that they may have been cold, you wanted to you wanted to believe that there is more. There was you saw certain sides of them come out. Sometimes you may have seen like glimpses that this person does have a gentle heart inside, but it only comes out once in a while. And maybe you held on to that hope. Maybe you saw those gentle sides of them and you were hoping that it would become more prevalent, like, you know, that they would show you that side more. But maybe it was just a flash here and there, you know, a flash off and on. So right now, how they feel about you is, you know, they're, they may be giving a, a kind of mask to the world. They may be showing the world through their social media or through friends or whatever that they're just fine, but inside they're not fine. Okay. So again, I feel like this person with this three of pentacles energy, they're very good at showing the world that everything is okay. Showing the world that they're very successful. They're very like, you know, under control, you know, they get things done. They're very respected. So they may be giving the world of a, a, a 
a very clear kind of I'm just fine energy, but inside they're feeling very emotional, okay? Very vulnerable. They are not fine, okay? They are not fine at all during this time. And they may be obsessively thinking about you, obsessively kind of thinking about the ways in which either they betrayed you or betrayed your trust or didn't open up to you or kept secrets from you. So there's a lot of regret coming through. See, surrendering to the journey, release control. So this person may also have come across um, as somebody who needs to control the narrative, okay? Again, with that three of diamonds, I just feel like this person is very good at controlling their image and they have a particular image that they want to show to the world and that's important to them. That's part of who they are. And that's okay, but I feel like they're also realizing now if you are separated, you know, if this has not worked out, they're realizing that they may have tried to control things a bit too much. They may have been controlling. They may have been, you know, controlling of the pacing in this relationship. They may have made you feel like you don't have a say in how this relationship moves forward. Like it's all about them and what they want. Like they get to decide right? So I feel like they're starting to consider that if they want to be back in your life, they're going to have to release control. They're going to have to come forward to you um, with a, a sense of flexibility, a sense of like, okay, I'm going to let go and I'm going to surrender to where this journey takes us. I'm not going to try to control every aspect of it the way I may be, you know, very good at controlling things in my work or in my business or in my professional life. Like they may be used to having that control, but having a hard time giving up that control when it comes to matters of the heart, right? So I feel like this person, it may be asking your friends about you, like if they're kind of like in little to no contact, if they have stepped away or you have maybe blocked them in some way, maybe you were just like tired of this, this energy from them, this kind of like untrustworthy energy. So they, they may have... You guys actually, for some of you may have started out as friends and this is how this got to where it is. Like this person may have been a very good friend, but when they crossed the line to becoming a lover or a partner, then things were not as great and you started to see different sides of them. But I feel like either way, whether this started as a friendship or whether this energy is more about them wanting to ask your friends, it could even be both. It could be that you guys have friends in common. You guys know people. Maybe you met through work. Okay, This is also the meet through work energy. So maybe you met working together and you still have friends or coworkers or you know people that you know and this person is trying to kind of figure out what's going on with you um, that way, right? Like they're still, even if they're not in touch, like they're very curious about you. They wanna know what's going on with you, see? They're thinking of you a lot. So I feel like with that queen of swords and this thinking man, so it doesn't matter if you're watching this for a feminine, I feel like she is obsessively thinking of you. If you're watching this for a masculine, I feel like he is obsessively thinking of you. <laughs> so there's definitely a lot of pondering energy. There's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of, um, you know, being in your head, looking at the different scenarios, going over and over again, uh, you know, onto like what happened here. And where did it go wrong or where was the trust betrayed or where did the trust break down? And I think that is something that it, they're also very much regretting. So let's go ahead and put their feelings into words. And if you could take a second to give this video a like, and if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe as well. You have no idea how much it helps me, my kids and the channel. <laughs> so my two boys and I, we are so appreciative to you for your support. The distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice again. So take these as they resonate for your situation. I miss your beautiful smile and joyous laugh. They used to light up my world. So see how this person is definitely very much in that Six of Cups, memories, nostalgia, like, oh, like, you know, just missing you a lot. I've made my bed and now I have to lie in it until I can admit my mistakes to myself and to you. Okay. 
I can't stand the thought of you being with someone else. I'm jealous. Have I lost you forever? And so, yeah, I feel like that one, it's, you know, for some of you with this, let your friends help you. I feel like your person is very jealous. They can't stand the thought of maybe you would move on to somebody else, especially if you've blocked this person because you felt betrayed. Maybe that seven of swords, maybe you felt like, yeah, enough is enough. So they, again, maybe asking your friends, like, are you seeing somebody else or what's going on with you? So let's take a look at future, just immediate future energies. Where could this be going? And stay with me till the end because we will be getting advice specifically for you from spirit. So yeah, this person has definitely been running. I think they're coming to a point where they're tired of running. They escape from their emotions by running. See, this is why I'm saying this, all this energy shows us this, that, you know, they are good at doing things in the world, but they tend to run from their emotions or they tend to have a hard time kind of not running from their emotions. And I feel like this is something that is really starting to exhaust them. It's like they want to stop running because because they've been doing that for so long now. Yeah, see, so they, they just can't stand the separation. Okay, they're not, they're not wanting this separation. I feel like they're wanting to run away from the separation and run towards you. Okay. So the separation is definitely weighing upon them uh, because see, summer energy. So you can see this as a time marker if you want, like some sort of like, maybe there's some sort of change during the summer. But this to me also represents the sun's energy. So this is about them really seeing you in an incredibly positive light. And it is hurting them even more that separation, because they see you in such a beautiful way. And they are starting to maybe in hindsight appreciate you even more like appreciate you more now that you may be gone or you may have blocked them it's making this separation even more painful right yeah so they're gonna they most likely will be coming to you to ask for your forgiveness okay for anything that they have done especially with that seven of swords so if this person has you you feel like they've betrayed you in some way they've let you down in some way this person is going to be coming towards you for sure with some sort of an apology okay and then it's going to be up to you whether you want to forgive them or not <laughs> So you may want to get ready, you know, like, you know, this person, if, especially if you haven't heard for, from this person for a while, you might be like surprised when they just kind of show up out of nowhere with an apology, which is very possible. So let's take a look at spirit. What is your final advice for group two? You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Okay, so interesting how in this entire reading, you we're getting your person as somebody who overthinks things, right? So maybe you guys, for some of you guys might mirror each other in that, right? That as they are overthinking and thinking, you might be doing the same. So Spirit is saying it, you know, just stop your overthinking and keep facing your true north as in just keep facing spirit like you know aligning with spirit you're already on the right path you are headed towards something really beautiful so don't give up keep moving forward keep moving up so this is what I have for you. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can do the live reading or the video recorded. You can also order any of the Oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading. You can also order the beautiful Blessed Twin Flame Necklace, which is a wonderful manifesting piece to bring in new love or to manifest union or reunion with that special person. So make sure you go to livetarot.com and check out all of the amazing things that I have there to support you on this journey. Thank you so so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one. All right, my beautiful group three that chose the Holy Grail. Let's see, how do they feel about you during this little to no contact? And stay with me until the end because we will be getting specific advice for you from Spirit. So how do they feel 
during this little to no contact. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Page of Crystals or Page of Wands. We have the Devil. And we have the Lovers, wow. So, you are definitely on their mind, okay? But, and actually, but there are definite toxic energies here. But even before that, there is a deep desire that this person has to be in contact with you again, to reach out to you or to send you some sort of a message. So let's start with this Ace of Swords. I feel like this person... They really feel that you brought something very new and refreshing to their life. I do feel with this devil's energy that this may be somebody who has struggled with certain addictions or codependent behaviors in the past. They may have even been struggling with certain health issues like maybe anxiety, depression. For some of you, this person may have issues with alcohol as in like they're not an alcoholic but they tend to sometimes push the boundaries maybe when they are in a bad place in their life they tend to drink a bit more they tend to drink more often so they're always kind of like on that fine line you know they know that it's if they keep pushing it they could have a problem um, but I feel like this person may have some sort of an addictive personality as well and again it doesn't have to be something terrible but they may just have a personality that can become very, very fixated on certain things um, that can become codependent in certain ways. So I feel like this is why their feelings for you, meeting you, connecting with you, falling in love with you was definitely an Ace of Swords energy for them because it opened up their mind, their heart, and their life to maybe a new way of being, a new way of thinking, a new perspective. Because I do feel that with that devil's energy, this person may, has, may have been suffering a lot from the way that their mind almost entraps them, either traps them into addictions or their mind kind of bothers them a lot I think like you know they you know they tend to have this tendency towards either uh, negative thinking or like I said and that negative thinking may become anxiety or depression and then in order to manage that they may either drink or do other things so you see how there's a bit of a vicious cycle around the way this person thinks or how their mind supports or doesn't support them so I feel like you, when you were in their life, and even if you are right now, but maybe less than before, it seems like you brought a whole new perspective. You really did influence them in a good way to think differently or try to fight these tendencies. And so their feelings for you right now are one of very deep appreciation a lot of deep love because look, we're getting this beautiful lover's energy. Okay, so this person really longs for you. They really love you, but they do feel like they're very messed up. Okay, so there's a sense of like, I love you so much. I do miss you so much, but I am messed up. Okay, I'm going to mess this up because I am messed up and I don't want to hurt you. Maybe they already have hurt you in, in certain ways, right? So it's like there's a part of them that very much wants to be with you, and then there's another part of them that feels like the right thing to do is to stay away from you until, if and until, they can fix their issues. Now this person, group three, is definitely aware. Okay, they have an awareness around what their issues are. They are very clear and aware of those things. And that is why they may have withdrawn from you on purpose. They may have, you know, stepped away from this 
uh, connection or this relationship on purpose because they felt like they would end up hurting you. So there's a part of them that every day is resisting uh, talking to you, resisting reaching out to you, resisting sending you a message, right? Because they feel like, what's the point if I can't be healthy, if I can't commit to you, if I can't give you what you deserve, what is the point in reaching out to you? So it's, it's kind of really sad energy, okay? This person feels very, very sad, very, very like heartbroken, um, very lost. They, they tend to be holding on to a story about themselves that somehow they're not capable of giving you this beautiful lovers. Like they're not, they won't be a great partner to you. They'll let you down in some way. They have some sort of codependent or toxic energies. There's a sense of like, they feel very weak. Okay. There's a sense of, they don't feel like they're strong enough to be somebody you deserve, like somebody like to be the person that you deserve to have. They're not that person. Um, they feel like ultimately whatever their issues or addictions are may get the better of them, you know, and it may start affecting your life in a bad way. So see, I feel like discovering truth, see, you stand in the light of truth. So I feel like this person is trying to find their truth and they're also embracing the truth that they see about themselves. Okay, so you know how there are some people who do struggle a lot with this devil's energy. They may have addictions, you know, they may have, um, you know, things that are really difficult for them in a relationship. Like they may have anger, they may have rage, they may have certain things that are not good for a healthy relationship, but they hide that in order to be in a relationship. I feel like this person is the opposite. This person is actually very honest and truthful with themselves. I feel like they, they stand in the light of the truth of the fact that they have some baggage or some issues that they need to work out. So there is at least the good part here, group three, is that there is an awareness and they're not willing to make you the guinea pig. Like they're not willing to hurt you in order to be in a relationship with you. They're not willing to, you know, let their addictions touch you in a bad way. Right? They don't want their issues or their baggage or their challenges to hurt you or affect you. And that is where it's like they are standing in the light of that truth of themselves. Okay, But they also realize that they need to discover what is causing this. Okay, And in order to really stand in the light of that truth of what is making them this way, what here needs to be healed so that they can reach out to you page of wands and they can offer you this lover's energy right like i feel like that's what they're trying to figure out they're trying to discover maybe they are going through therapy right now maybe they're going through counseling right now but it can definitely seem like they are not returning your love at this time okay so and i i feel like spirit is saying don't take this personally they seem to be on a, a, a journey of healing. They seem to really need some sort of help, okay? So even if they were with you at this time, group three, you may not feel connected to them, okay? It may feel very disconnected if you guys were together at this time. As much as this person, you know, does have feelings for you, would want to be with you if they were healthy enough to do so, but I don't feel that they are healthy enough. So again, don't take this personally. It has nothing to do with you. I feel like they feel like even if they were to come to you now and, and you know, be in touch with you, be close to you again, I still feel like they know that it's not going to be satisfying to you. There's going to be something here that's going to feel like it's missing because there's something here that they cannot yet fully offer. I feel like this person really does need to work on their issues before they can be in this lover's energy. Until they work on this, until they go dig in deep and discover the truth about themselves and why they're this way, they're not going to be able to step into this lover's energy and then it's not going to be fair to you. So see angel of balance. So I do believe that this person 
is trying to find some sort of answers, some sort of healing and balance in their life. And I feel like they feel very deeply for you. And you may have been the catalyst. Like you may be somebody who has inspired them to change their thinking, Ace of Swords, to change the way they've been approaching their baggage or their challenges or their emotional health issues. So this is a good thing. This Ace of Swords tells us that you have been a really beautiful influence on this person. But they should should be protecting you from their devil's energy if they feel that they cannot give you the respect, the love, the commitment, the attention that you deserve. So this is actually a good thing. So let's see. As in, it's not a good thing that you may be separated from them, but it is a good thing if they are staying away on purpose from you because they don't want you to be affected by some of these more destructive behaviors that they may have okay that they need to to work on that first so let's get a look at their feelings into words and i would really appreciate if you could hit that like button and that subscribe if you haven't already you have no idea how much it helps me my children the channel everything so my two boys and i want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your support you're the one for me. We're twin souls. And that's what scares me the most. I'm seeing it all clearly now. So see, I feel like the issue here is not the love. The issue here is your person's emotional health and their mental state. Okay, so they do realize, you know, that you are their person. But there's something here that needs to be addressed or healed first. I need to be alone for now. I need to make sense of my intense feelings. I don't want to feel this way. So see, this is why they may have stepped away. There's some intense, intense energy coming from that devil's energy. Okay, there's some maybe intense feelings, intense therapy that they may need to go through at this time. I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. Okay, so for some of you, this person, like you may have to, you may have had to step away from them because their, um, you know, their, that devil's energy was just too much for you to handle, right? They may, so see, for some of you, I do feel like that devil's energy also includes some sort of toxic third parties, okay? They could be romantic third parties, but they could also be family or other people, exes. There may be some other toxic ener energies or toxic people who don't, wish your person well or trying to manipulate your person in some way okay so that might be another thing that they also need to resolve before they can fully commit to you i wish i could take back the hurtful things i said it was wrong to take my frustration out on you okay so yeah this person some of their devil's energy some of the toxic energy may have come out you know as like them being unkind maybe words were spoken maybe there was an argument a fight that was got very hurtful and now they are definitely regretting that so let's see what's coming up next in the immediate future between you and this person and stay with me till the end because we will be pulling advice for you from spirit yeah didn't i say this i feel like throughout this reading group three your person is definitely in need of deep healing, deep, intense therapy. Okay, they are they are a good person, but they have demons. Okay, they have things that they need to really deal with because they may be very much out of balance. And that might be the reason why they're not in touch, right? They've been very unawakened for a long time. Okay. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of darkness around this person, but I do feel in this reading that there is a transition, that there is a transition that is happening in your person where they are going from a state of, you know, being very much in pain because they were unawakened to heading towards discovering the truth. But this in itself is a process right? As you are unearthing and discovering the truths within you that are holding you back, what is this devil's energy? That is where that intense healing is happening. That is the process of that intense healing, going from unawakened to awakened and truthful. 
So that is actually really positive. So this may be a journey that this person is on at this time. Yeah, they've been settling for a long time. I think this person has been settling for less. They've been very insecure. They've been acting and behaving from a scarcity mindset for a very long time. And so again, I feel like that Ace of Swords, there's something at least about you and this connection that has inspired them to, to try to think differently, to change their mindset, to change their energy, and to stop settling for less in life. Yeah, so they're trying very hard right now to raise their energy and their vibration. So this person, again, to me, these are beautiful transitioning energies, right? Like energies from low vibe, devil's energy, struggle, right? Uh, feeling really, really low self-worth, uh, feeling like you have demons to finally healing, transforming, coming into positivity, raising your vibration. So I just feel like this person is definitely on a journey, okay? They're on a journey of healing and self-discovery, and this is going to be very important for them so that they can come to a place where they're ready to invite love in with that lover's energy. It's all bringing them to the point where they can finally be in a healthy relationship, okay? And I feel like what they want is that healthy relationship with you. So what is your final advice here from Spirit? Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill, okay? So if you've been feeling very, very exhausted from the energies of this connection, this relationship, I wouldn't be surprised because we've been getting such heavy devil's energy here. Spirit is saying, just take an energetic break, okay? Let this person heal, deal what they need to do, and just let it be. You take a break and focus on your vibe, your vibration, your healing, your happiness, your joy, your peace, okay? Because I feel like this will, with that, right, that page of wands, this will at some point come back into your life, but you don't need to focus on that. You can focus on your life and leading your life fully until that happens and wait for it if you'd like or move on if you'd like. It's totally up to you. So this is what I have for you. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, you can have a live reading or a video recorded. You can also order any of the Oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading or the Blessed Twin Flame Necklace, which is a beautiful manifesting piece to bring in new love, union, or reunion with that special person. So make sure you go to livetarot.com and check out all of the magic there because I've created a lot of things to help you on this journey to love. So make sure you go there and check it out. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next 